<laughs> so we will resume vintage vinyl with the happiest millionaire and the one and only original family band remembering uh, Richard M. Sherman this morning. Mike Evans graduated from Marywood University in 1993. Since then, he's hosted a regular segment on the station called Vintage Vinyl. He says the university's WVMWFM radio station is where he and hundreds of students honed their craft over the station's 50 years of operation. This is where they can make their mistakes. This is where they can get good and, you know, take a few years to do so. Coordinator of Broadcast Operations at Marywood and former station disc jockey Ernie Mangoni says the VMFM 91.7 has built its reputation with listeners over the last five decades. And I believe as of right now we're the only alternative station in the market. Uh, so I think we're providing a service that is lacking in this area. Uh, I know a lot of people are into alternative music, uh, so we're kind of filling that niche. But most importantly, it served as a training ground for students pursuing careers in radio and throughout the entertainment industry. It's a great training tool for the students for their on-air presence. So, you know, radio's here to stay. As the vinyl continues to spin, Evans thinks the station will continue right along with it. I'd like to see it go on another 50 years. I don't know if I'm going to be around for the 100th anniversary, but hey, 50 more, that would be great. Marywood University plans to hold an official 50th anniversary celebration on September 30th. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.